a cylinder which has a radius of x minus 2 and a height of x plus 8 has a volume given by the formula p is equal to pi this is r squared times h the volume of a cylinder is well known as pi v is equal to pi r squared h so this is basically the same formula pi times r squared times height is the formula of a cylinder so this is i google this so this is height is given to be x plus 8 so this is your x plus 8 i'll write it as small as possible and the radius is this radius is x minus 2 x minus 2 okay so what what they're asking us is uh, we want to find the possible height of the cylinder if its volume is 32 pi so v is given to be 32 pi so let us substitute this back into this equation so can i write uh, the same equation like this pi times x minus 2 the whole squared times x plus 8 x plus 8 is equal to v i'm rewritten this equation again so i can write now pi times x minus 2 the whole squared times x plus 8 is equal to 32 pi so I got 32 pi on both sides, so you can cancel or you can divide both sides by pi. So this and this gets cancelled. So let us expand this. So what happens? So this is, I'll write x plus 8. So when I expand this, so this is x minus 2 times x minus 2 times x plus 8 is equal to 32. So this is simple expansion. So this is, uh, this is, I'll expand these two brackets first. So this is x times x is x squared. Then x times negative 2 is minus 2x. Then minus 2 times x is minus 2x. And minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4. And this is where you have to be careful. And uh, if you're not careful, and if you don't have enough practice, this is where you will go wrong. So is equal to 32. So now I have to simplify this bracket again. This has to be simplified before we expand again. So this is x squared minus 4x plus 4 times x plus 8 is equal to 32. So let us expand this further. So this is x times x squared times x is x cubed x squared times 8 is 8x squared. Now expanding with minus 4x, minus 4x times x is minus 4x squared, minus 4x times 8 is minus 32x. Okay, then expanding with 4, 4 times x is 4x, 4 times 8 is 32, is equal to 32, is equal to 32. So we've got 32 on both sides. So let us simplify this first and then we'll do that. So this is x cube. x cube. Okay, I don't have space. Okay, I'll try to finish it off. So this is uh, plus 4x squared. This is minus 28x plus 32 is equal to 32. So you've got 32 on both sides, or you can take away 32 from both sides. If you take away 32 from this side, you can take away 32 from this side. Okay, so let me scroll this down. I can scroll this down. Okay, I think that is enough. So what will happen? So this and this gets cancelled. So you've got x cubed plus 4x squared minus 28x is equal to zero so what can you factor out you can factor out an x so you've got x squared plus 4x minus 28 is equal to zero okay so what will happen you have to find the value of x so x is equal to zero or x squared plus 4x 
minus 28 is equal to 0. Now this cannot be factorized. You can't find two factors of 28 which gives you 4. So you can use the quadratic formula, but to save time, I'm going to use the calculator to figure out the two values of x. So you have two values of x. I can also do this graphically, but we are going to use the calculator. So I'm going to equation, and then you go to polynomial and the second degree. So your a is 1, your b is 4, and your c is negative 28 or minus 28, and you go solve. So one is 3.66, this, uh, oops, this is 3.66 and minus 7.66. So I'll write the two answers, minus, uh, what was the answer, I forgot. Ma yeah, that is 3.66 and minus 7.66. So one answer is x is 3.66 in 2 dp. X is 3.66 or 7.66. Okay, now minus 7.66, sorry, minus 7.66. But we have to say, but X has to be greater than 0. X is, because you've got X minus 8. No, you've got X minus 2. Okay, so X has to be in fact greater than 2. So X cannot be. Uh, greater, it can, it cannot be negative 7, but you can say, but x is greater, and x has to be greater than 0, x has also to be greater than 2. So we are accepting this answer, x is, so I can say, therefore, I can say x is 3.66 centimeters in 2 dp. But the question is, you want to find the height, the possible, find the possible height of the cylinder. So this would be x plus 8 is the possible height and 3.66. So this is 11.66 centimeters is the possible height of the cylinder. That's your answer. Okay. Now, we want to do the next question. One more question. So let's look at the question. The question is, so let me bring this down. Okay. Uh, I had to move this down. Okay. So, so this is a cylinder. Okay. Slowly it moves. Okay. So yeah, let's read the question now again. So this is a cylinder. If L is the length of the longest rod that can be placed in the cylinder. So a lot, let me draw a rod that can be placed in the cylinder. So the longest rod that can go is like this. Okay, so this is, I hope you can see this in a 3D way. So let me highlight this. So this is the longest rod that can go like this from one end to the other end. Okay, so yeah, this is, let me do this properly. So this is how you can place the rod. I hope you can see this from one end to the other. So this is the height. So let me draw a dotted line here. So this is the, this becomes the, this becomes the diameter. This is the radius. So this is the, so we're going to use the Pythagoras theorem here. So this is, I hope you can see this. So this is nothing but the right angle triangle. This is your height and this is your diameter, D for diameter. So D, your radius is X, what was the radius? The radius was X minus two. Okay, so your radius is X minus two, which implies your diameter is two R, or diameter plus radius plus radius. So your diameter is X plus two, X minus two, plus X minus two. So diameter is two X minus four your diameter is 2x minus 4, your height is x plus 8. So let's read the question. If L is the length of the longest rod that can be placed inside the cylinder, show that x is equal to this formula. So you have to make x the subject. So this, so your diameter is 2x minus 4, 2x minus 4, 
and your height is x plus 8. So we can use Pythagoras. So can we see this is your L. Okay, so this is the length of the longest rod that can be placed. So can I say L squared, L squared is equal to, this is 2x minus 4, the whole squared, plus x plus 8, the whole squared. So let us expand this. So this is, I'll leave L squared at it, as it is. This is 2x minus 4 times 2x minus 4 plus x plus 8 times x plus 8. There's a formula for, if you know the formula, it's very useful, but I'm not using that formula, which is called a plus b the whole squared. So let us expand this, foiling this out. So this is 4x squared minus 8x minus 8x plus 16 i'll close the bracket plus again foiling this out so this is x squared plus 8x plus 8x plus 64. so again l squared expanding the bracket so this is 4x squared plus so let me expand this again so this is 4x squared minus this is 16x, am I right? Yes, 16x plus 16, and this is plus x squared plus 16x. Okay, this is seems to be very tidy. So this is minus 16x and plus 16x gets cancelled. Okay, so what is it left over? So L squared is 4x squared plus x squared is 5x squared. And this is 16 plus 64 is 40, uh, 40, am I right? No, 80. Okay, 64, 70, 80, yeah. I want to make x the subject, so I can say I'm taking away 80 from both sides. L squared minus 80 is equal to 5x squared. So now I'm going to divide both sides by 5. So 80, it's L squared minus 80 over 5 is equal to 5x squared over 5. So the 5 and 5 gets cancelled. So x squared is L squared minus 80 over 5. And then taking square root of both sides, I can say square root of x squared is equal to square root of L squared minus 80 over 5. So square root of x squared is nothing but x. So this is what we wanted to prove. L is nothing but square root of L squared minus 80 over 5.